Hello everyone, this is Ron Collins from Blue Lacy SEO and today I want to show you how to create Google My Business posts the correct way to generate maximum SEO and better user engagement. So stay tuned. So Google My Business or GMB for short this type of optimization should be part of any good local SEO strategy. And a big part of ranking your GMB is posting regularly. So let's go to the back end of, um, of a GMB and go to the posts. So let's look at the types of posts you can create. So I'm in my uh, GMB, click on posts. And at the top here, you can see you can do a COVID-19 update add an offer, add an update, add an event, or add a product. Now, most of the time you're gonna be doing adding an update, but you may have offers or events. Uh, each one has a different expiration date on them. So, um, depending on your business, you may be able to create product descriptions uh, with pictures. Uh, so that's over here, add a product. But most of your competition is probably not using GMB posts. And if they are, they're probably not posting on a regular basis, like at least once a week. Also, if they're posting regularly, they probably aren't doing it correctly. So let's take a look. So let's look at some GMB uh, post basics. First, we'll start with the image size. Uh, a good image size is 1,200 by 900 pixels. That's a four to three ratio. You can post images smaller than that, but not too much larger. I've been able to post about 1,280 pixels wide. Uh, you'd have to try it out, but 1,200 by 900 is a four to three ratio. So that's a good uh, starting point. The other one is uh, you wanna create your graphics. Uh, you can find uh, free pictures or pictures that you take that's related to your post. And uh, you can create uh, interesting graphics on there. You can use Canva. Uh, they have a free version. It's somewhat limited. I use uh, one called Glorify, which is a little bit newer. And this is a paid version that I use. Then we get to uh, the content size. Uh, you're limited to about 1500 characters that's about 250 to 300 words so they're they're short posts and uh, again your post frequency one to three times a week i wouldn't recommend posting more than three times a week uh, it doesn't really impact your seo if you post a lot in one week and remember uh, your post uh, your your regular post uh they don't expire but it shows only the first 10 so if you're posting a lot per week uh your posts get moved down the across the ladder there uh more frequently and you want to give uh give it a couple of days for your post to be more visible toward the front Okay, let's talk about rejected GMB posts because sometimes your posts will be rejected and it's not clear why they're being rejected. So, first, the words in your content. Uh, certain words may, may seem to be okay, but it may be on Google's offensive word list. So, that's one way you could be rejected. Uh, phone number. Google no, no, no longer allows your business phone number to appear in posts. Uh, the reason that it's included if you use the call now button. So don't put your phone number in your post. Uh, the website URL is in the body of a post. You, you can include links, what we call naked links. Uh, but put it uh, after the, the body of the post. Don't put it in line with it. A lot of times you'll get them rejected. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. 
Uh, then you can have spam, false claims, false representation. If Google deems you're doing that, you could be uh, rejected also. And sometimes an image with text inside of it. Uh, sometimes you can get away with this. Many people put the name of their business address and phone number in the image. Uh, sometimes you get away with it. Sometimes they don't like it. So those are some of the rejected reason or the reason you can't get rejected with your with your post okay let's uh let's look at how to optimize your post content first of all you want to choose a keyword relevant to your business now if you're a dentist and one of your services is dental implants you're going to write your post using the keyword dental implants there's no other reason to change that. And uh, you're going to write 250 to 300 words around your keyword. Don't just write one or two sentences. Uh, you want to persuade your audience. Uh, so you don't want to make it too long. And you want to give enough content that Google can figure out what you're talking about. And you can rank according to the keywords that you use. Now, don't overuse the keywords. For instance, don't write dental implants are replacement for missing teeth. Dental implants are made to match your natural teeth. This is why dental imp implants are important. Okay, you're mentioning dental implants too many times. Google is going to see this as spam and they may not reject it, but they're not going to rank uh, your GMB higher because of this post. Uh, include your exact keywords just a few times and then use variations of your keywords like instead of dental implant you could use words like fixture or dental prosthesis or or something like that uh, variations of your keywords uh, next include your business name address email and website url below the body of your text and i'll give you an example here later and then use the available buttons that you can choose from you can choose call now sign up, learn more, buy, order online, or book. Now the call now will, will uh, include your phone number for your business. Uh, sign up, learn more. Some of these other ones, you can put in links to different pages on your website. And then you can put other links there below your content. And um, let me show you some examples of that. So we're going to go back to uh, the back end of Google My Business under the posts. This is a short article. I have a title here. And I have the content. Below that, I have uh, my name of the business, address. I have the uh, link to my website and an email. I don't have the phone number in here. Now, you want to include some links here, like to some of your better social medias like Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, some of your citation sites like Yelp. If you have a YouTube channel, include that. Uh, if you have a Google site, this is a Google website. They call it Google Sites. Uh, uh, include a link to that because Google likes to see links to their own properties. If you created a Google My Business website, and there's not uh, too many people that know about that, uh, it's down here on the left side where it says website. I'll show you that real quick. And uh, it's fairly easy to do. They kind of guide you. It's real simple. Uh, you put some keywords of what you want to rank for. Uh, they put all the, you can, you can choose to make an appointment or so there's some other, uh, choices in there uh, you include an image they pull in all your uh, GMB posts your most recent ones in here automatically uh, that will call now read more buttons okay and um, they have your testimonials your reviews and then there's a space to write an article or write anything you want to about your business. 
So use this space to, to write out a, a nice article uh, with keywords that you want to rank for. Don't try to mention too many of your keywords. Like, Don't mention all your services. If you have like 40 services, don't try to list them all here. Concentrate on one service, the main thing that you do. Like for me, web design. So I wrote a post here about a web design. It's more like an article than a post. And then at the end, include your name, your business, address. You can include your phone number here. Uh, you can include anchor text uh, with a link and the areas that you serve and then i put learn more about my business by visiting my brand profiles so include some of these like facebook youtube linkedin yelp super pages a lot of these are the citation sites and they're going to pull in the, your pictures that you have your map location uh contact now um your address they're going to pull all this in your business hours from your google my business so let's go back to posts i include uh the maps link uh where you're where you're shown on maps google maps then this last link is a link back to your previous post so this links back to my previous post over here. This one links back to the previous post down here. So you're creating a link chain of posts, which Google likes to see this. This is like the kind of the secret sauce that most people don't do down in here. Now keep in mind, all this extra uh, text here counts toward your maximum words or characters that you can use so that means you have to make this a little bit uh, less wordy than maybe you would want to okay so that's it it's it's pretty simple uh, to do I'll be checking uh, on your insights over here to see how uh, how you're doing as far as visitors there's all kind of metrics in there that you can look at so I hope you got some value from this video. And if you did, click the like button and subscribe. Everyone be blessed. And I'll see you next time.